Everybody come to your mat or to your open space wherever you're practicing. Coming to a wide open stand, starting our practice in a standing meditation as we'll be doing an ab practice today, igniting our core so we want to stay active. So just standing open here, close your eyes. Just start to connect to your breath and your body. Connecting to the contraction the really light contraction you get at your stomach on every exhale. Beautiful, we'll start to warm up the body, warm up the joints, circling in the head in one direction. Loosening up any tension in the neck. Feel free to play some music in the background. It's going to be a fun practice. So, if you want to get your energy up, play your favorite tunes, you can do that. And to the other direction. And coming into the shoulders, big shoulder circles, feeling it from your feet, bending in the knees, contracting in the abs, rolling of the stomach, everything is connected, big shoulder circles. And to the other direction. Connecting the whole body, moving all around, letting your energy flow, letting those juices flow all around. Coming back to your center, let's come to the hips. We're gonna do some hip circles. Keeping that back nice and strong by contracting the abs. Using your core here to control the movement. And to the other direction. Coming back to center, hands on the hips. Bringing the hips forward, contracting the abs completely. Then we'll bring them to the right. Then we're bringing it to the back, and to the left, and forward again. Slow movement here, isolating the hips, isolating the abs. One more round in this direction. And we'll go to the other side. Forward, contract to the left, contracting on the left side of your abs. All the way back, letting the abs extend. To the right, contracting on the right, and forward. Two more at your own pace. Feeling almost like a belly dancer. Beautiful. And now connecting all of those movements, primarily ab work here, connecting to the hips, bending the knees as needed, and to the other direction. Beautiful. Gonna do some ankle circles as our last joint warm up. Changing direction. Even here, we're activating the abs to keep us stable on our left leg. Pretty much balancing on that left leg as we're spinning on the right ankle. Switch side. Changing the circle direction.
and we'll come to the top of the mat. Going through a couple rounds of sun salutations with some ab variations. First round will be normal just to get familiar. Inhale the hands up, all the way up top, feeling this nice extension in the belly region. We really want to focus on our belly in this practice today. So in every posture, see what's happening in your belly. Inhale, look up. Exhale, come down forward, fold head to knees. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, tucking the belly in. Hands come down to the ground, hold your breath, come back to plank. In our planks, we want to make sure our hands are beneath our shoulders, fingers are facing forward, and our hips are low, not too high, and not too low, but in this nice straight line here, if that. From here, we're going to lean forward, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, Exhale, down dog. Taking a moment in our first down dog, wiggling out the hips, whatever feels nice to you, walking out the legs. Look forward, walk, step, step, big toe to big toe, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold, head to knees. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Inhale, rise. Exhale, coming down to the floor. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Drop the hands to the ground. Hold your breath. Come back to a plank. Inhale, press into your hands. Strengthen your shoulders as if you're in a cat pose. Really broadening the shoulders outwards in your plank. Exhale, grounding in the feet. Maybe pushing your weight a little bit back towards your heels. Turning towards the right, we're going to come to a side plank. Inhale, look towards your right hand. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, come to your right hand. Look towards your left hand. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, lift on the fingertips. Exhale, come forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Taking a moment here, shaking out the hips. When we shake out the hips, right and left, we also are using our abs here. Look forward, step, step, big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Last round. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, come down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, drop the hands, come back to your plank, hold. Adjust yourself as needed. Again, making sure your hands are under your shoulders. Pressing into all your fingertips as well. Inhale, press into those hands, broaden those shoulders like a cat pose. Dropping the hands down to the ground, coming into a forearm plank, exhale. Inhale, back up to your regular plank. Exhale, coming down with the opposite hand first. And inhale, back up. Exhale, lean forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Taking a moment here in your down dog. Gonna add some leg ab movement here. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Come back to your downward dog and switch sides. Lift that left leg up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Come back to your downward dog. Deep breath. Look forward, walk. 
step, step, big toe to big toe, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, rising up, look towards your fingertips, exhale, rest, beautiful. And here we're going to come into a chair pose, big toe to big toe, legs are pressing against each other, that's why we feel more stable. If you have a wide angle, your knees will probably wobble and you'll feel less balanced. So when you keep your feet together and your knees together and your legs pressing together, you feel more stable and strong. So we're keeping those legs together. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, drop the hips coming into your chair pose. Make sure you're not coming into too much of a back bend. The back should be straight here, pretty neutral. The hips are coming back. Make sure you can still see your toes. The knees should be in line with your legs pretty much and just the hips come back. Take a couple deep breaths here. Feeling your core, stabilizing your whole posture on every exhale. Inhale, reach the arms a little bit higher. Exhale, we're gonna twist with the body towards the right. The hands stay up high, just looking towards the right now. Make sure your knees are still pressing up against each other so they don't wishy-wash forward and back. Looking towards the right now. Breathing deeply. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, twist towards the left now, your whole upper body, hands are still straight. Last breath, inhale back to center. Let's add some movement here. Inhale, hands reach up, exhale, twist to right. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist to left. A couple more at your own pace. We'll meet back at center and exhale, Drop the hands down. Maybe a widening the angle with your legs. Coming into a dangling forward fold for a moment, allowing the shoulders to release. After that shoulder activation as well. You can grab opposite elbows and wiggle side to side. Or you can keep your hands on the floor and just sway. From here, we'll place our hands back down to the ground and come back to a downward dog. In our downward dog, our feet are shoulder and hips distance and our hands are shoulder distance. Make sure you're pushing the weight to your feet and not keeping them in your hands. Take a moment to arrange yourself. From here, we're gonna bring the right hand to our left shin, to the back of it, coming into a twist in our downward dog. And come back to center. Left hand to right shin, twisting in our downward dog. And back to center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back to center. A couple more at your own pace. One more. We meet back to center. We're gonna roll the body forward, coming onto our hands, finding our plank. So if you need to rearrange your hands or legs more forward and back, so that you're at a good plank uh, length, you can do that. Some people are already there. Some people have shorter arms and legs. So it'll take a little bit of adjustment, which is okay. So now we're in our plank and we're gonna inhale, look forward. Exhale, push back into your down dog. Inhale, back to your plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Couple more 
if you're okay, feel free to go faster or slower.
Little bit faster now. Back to center. Cross over left over right. Lift the whole body for a moment. And drop. Last boat variation. Inhale, come back up. Make sure you're still on your sit bones. Hands come forward. Exhale, we're lowering down with the body, straightening out the legs. Don't let the back touch the ground. We're staying on our, on our sacrum here. Inhale up. Coming to your boat pose. Exhale, lower down, straighten the legs. Hands stay forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep going. Couple more. On the next exhale, we're going to lower down and hold. And slowly lower down to the ground. Going to lay on our backs. Coming into a bridge pose, making sure your legs are parallel to each other and facing forward the whole time. Even when we come up, don't open the knees. Hands are by the hips. Inhale, raise the hips high. Making sure you're pressing into your feet. That's your base here. If you don't press into your feet, all of the, uh, all the tension in this posture will go to your glutes and your lower back. So we want to press into our feet, activating the front of our body here. And loosening up in the glutes a bit. Making sure we're using our core here to stay stable and not our glutes. Taking a couple deep breaths here in our regular bridge pose. I'm going to ground a little bit more into the left foot and inhale, raise that right foot towards the sky. When you raise your right foot, try to make sure that your hips are still in line and that your right hip isn't sinking towards the ground. You can keep the leg bent as well if that's easier or straight for an extra challenge. We're going to start toe tapping the ceiling. That means lifting in the core and in the glutes higher, higher. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Don't go all the way down to the ground on your exhale. A little bit above the ground. Coming back to your center, dropping the right leg, switching legs. Grounding in the right foot before you raise your left leg. And then coming up, making sure you're super grounded in that right leg and that your hips are stable. If you had to pot of water or puddle of water here, it would stay in your pelvis and not spill out towards the left side. And you can start tapping the ceiling here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more. Last one, inhale, exhale, come back to center, and slowly drop back down your hips towards the ground. We're gonna bring our knees to our chest and give them a big hug for a moment. Hugging, touching elbows here, head to knees, squeezing everything completely. And slowly release the head back down towards the ground. And bring your hands up to your sides, shoulder height, knees stay together. Take an inhale and exhale, bring the knees towards the right side. The head will stay neutral in the center for now. 
Inhale, back to center. Exhale, knees come towards the left side. If you want more core work here, you won't actually touch the ground with your legs. Just right above and then keep going. If you want to get more twist action here, you can come all the way down, down towards the ground. Make sure you're still connecting to your breath. Inhaling when you come back to center. Exhaling when you go down to the side. Added bonus here is that extra lower back massage. I'm sure you can all feel that. On the next inhale, we'll meet back in the center. And you'll start circling the knees like you're drawing a circle on the ceiling. Again, all this movement comes from your core, comes from your center. And to the other direction. For our Shavasana, we'll do one last ab exercise, lifting the legs to 90 degrees. The legs can be a little bent as well. And we're going to do toe taps in the direction of your toes we're lifting. I like to do these with active exhales and passive inhales. In yoga, there's a breathing exercise called Kapalabhati, which we do this same breathing technique in a seated posture. It's called the shining forehead breathing technique. It's supposed to make you glow and ignite your fire and your energy. A couple more. Keep reaching for those, those toes. And slowly release, coming into a Shavasana. However variation you choose, either completely open on the ground, legs open, hands, palms up by your sides, or maybe with your feet on the ground and your knees together, whatever feels comfortable for you. Closing your eyes. Coming to your breath and just thinking about your breath for the next couple of moments here. Again, connecting to that slight ab contraction on your exhale. free to stay in this Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Or you can meet me at a comfortable seat. Whatever comfortable seat you prefer. Letting the circulation flow down into your body before you open your eyes. Just feeling the energy flow from the top of your head down back into, into your body. You can bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. I hope you feel ignited and activated in your core and happy and beautiful. Bye.